I just got a rainbow resource order for our new semester and I thought I would share with you the haul. It's not a very big one, mostly because I forgot to order a few things. So if I um, get that ordered before this video goes up, I will include it at the end. Um, I don't know, such is life. Anyway, um, and I will, yeah. So I don't have very many things on here, but I will show, show you what I got. And for the things that we've used, I'll give you a little review of them too. Okay. Oh, and if you've never used Rainbow Resource, uh, there's their website and they are fantastic. They have been around since 1989. Um, and they, yeah, they're just a fantastic company. Good prices, their prices are often competitive with Amazon prices. Um, I've always been very happy with them. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, this is something about an order. You got a free stocking stuffer when I ordered. So I have a little boy who'll be happy with that. So I got um, Clyde. Uh, I've heard just really good things about it, and I thought it, we've been doing prime numbers with both of my boys in Beast um, this year, and I just thought it might be a fun thing, and I thought I might enjoy it as well. Um, age is 10 and up, but I think Matthew will be able to handle it fine. So I will, um, I'll review this eventually after we've played it, but I'm excited about it. I've heard really, really good things about it. And their price was cheaper than Amazon when I ordered it. And I got a couple of Professor Noggins. I've, I've never used these, but I've heard very rave reviews from several other homeschooling youtubers i think i first heard about them on pepper and pines channel and then i think the precious year has talked about them as well so if you don't know we are doing uh, national park science this year and i thought these would make a good accompaniment to go with them so we got wildlife in north america and birds in north america and then next up is map charts and graphs by um, Modern Curriculum Press. I have a video about these. I really love these books for just a basic go-to get it done type of geography program. This one is Eastern Hemisphere and this is for my sixth grader. They have levels, like level A is like a kindergarten first grade level and then they move up from there. But then like F, G, and H I don't really think are more difficult than the others. Maybe, well, yeah, F, G, H. Um, so you can kind of do those out of order. But it's, they just have each one focuses on something different, different skill, practice. The lessons aren't very long. I love that. Um, and yeah, we will combine this with the Geography Now website or um, YouTube channel. And I'll have him just watch videos from the East of countries for the Eastern Hemisphere. If you don't know that channel, he just does one country at a time and they are fantastic, fantastic videos. So the videos won't match with the lessons, but they'll match with the book. That makes sense. So they're just real easy, get it done, independent work. I don't have to help with it. And then they do have the answers in the back. And the answers are clear, easy to check. And then I got it. Mad Lips um, for, well, for both boys really, but I was thinking mostly Matthew. Um, you know, nothing, nothing unusual, just a basic. <laughs> I got the Star Wars one and then I got a Grinch one that we could do this. Um, you know what, when I'm, when this video goes up, it's going up a couple weeks after I actually received this. So we'll, we're still in the, in December when I received this. <laughs> So we'll do that this month. I'm not doing things completely out of order. And then I've got Beast Academy 5B for Ben. I had ordered, I had bought these off of someone online. The used one, she had some used ones and they went lost in the mail. So while we're waiting to see if they get recovered, I bought the whole set from her. So while I'm waiting to see if they mysteriously show up magically, maybe. Um, I'm only going to buy one set at a time. 
So we will finish 5B. Well, we're almost, I don't know, maybe in January, and then we'll move on. Or we'll finish 5A, hopefully in January, and then move on. Um, yeah, I have a video about Beast Academy, too. I I just really, really love the program, and I wish I wish I'd had it when Elizabeth was in elementary. Anyway, so that's for that. And then, speaking of my daughter, U.S. History Detective. We, I bought the first semester book of this at um, the summer when I did that Shop With Me video at a local homeschool store. And I didn't know if she would like it or not. It's by Critical Thinking Company. We genuinely love their products, but, Sun's coming in. Um, we generally really enjoy their products, but I wasn't sure this was a very different one than what she's used. But as it turns out, she's really enjoyed it. It's it covers all like the main events in his U.S. history. They also have a world history one, but it's not just like the way we grew up doing history from a textbook. Um, obviously there's critical thinking involved in it, but it's a lot of like, the one she did today, the day I'm taping this, was about a revival in American literature in like the mid, early-ish 1800s, she's in like 1830s. So it talked about that and like different authors, but it went beyond that. So authors like Washington Irving, that time frame. It talked about why there was such a revival then and how the transportation, um, growth of transportation affected it, which she had just done transportation in the past couple lessons. And so like how that affected writing, like what they wrote about and the distribution of books and all of that, which allowed for, which helped a growth in, Ameri in you know, literature. Anyway, so that's, like it does, so it talks about the event, but it it talks also about the whys and the hows and what came of it and all of that. She really enjoys the book far more than I expected she would. So I told her I'd go ahead and get the second semester one as well. And we've made it kind of our spine. It wasn't gonna be our spine this year, but just supposed to be a supplement, but she's enjoyed it so much that we've kind of made it our main thing. So anyway, this one, late 1800s, 21st century. She will hopefully finish um, book one um, here in January. So let me like open a lesson. Okay, so let's go here to the Great War. Which she did a lot of last year in world history. So section starts with an introduction to the topic and then each lesson, she'll do a lesson in a day, usually. Um, so the Great War. You know, the main topics of it, um, they include nice little illustration, you know, images, um, some but not overwhelming. Now they put in little fun facts here and there. And then the questions will require them, it's not just like finding the answer straight out of the book. Like it's, they have to think about what they read and then there's a section for them to support their answer. You, like telling them what sentences they read that will support their answer. The sentences are numbered. So it's, they have to really extrapolate from what they've read. And this has given us some really, really good discussions. Um, and I've learned quite a bit from it too. And then there's a written response. I don't always make her do both the multiple choice and the written. Sometimes I'll just pick one. Sometimes we'll do this one and then have her just prepare this one as an oral discussion for me. And then they do have the answers in the back too. So there's my Rainbow Resource Hall. Thanks for watching.